That's at the National Museum of Natural History in Paris. My laboratory is working on antimicrobial peptides from bacteria. And I will give you some shortcuts on the defense strategies that are developed by enterobacteria. These uh, microorganisms have to cope with a constant battle for nutrients. And in stress conditions, in poor nutrient conditions, enterobacteria, which colonize the intestinal tract, uh, can synthesize, ribosomally synthesize antimicrobial peptides, which are called microcins, and are involved in bacterial competitions. For the first time, microcini 492 was isolated as an 84 amino acid anionic and unmodified peptide produced by Klebsiella pneumoniae. In the laboratory, by changing the source of carbon and nitrogen, we could isolate a modified form of the microcin, which bears glycosylated siderophore at the C terminus. The post-translational modification is a linear trimer of dihydroxybenzoyl serine, which is linked to a beta-D glucose acting as a template that itself is linked to the C-terminal carboxylate of the peptide. This glycosylated siderophore is reminiscent of salmochelin, which is a specific siderophore isolated from salmonella species. And this siderophore microcin is the first natural siderophore peptide to be isolated. The modification increases the activity of the microcin by four to eight times, and both peptides are bactericidal. We looked at the uptake mechanism of the microcin inside target bacteria, and for this we examined the antibacterial activity of the peptide against the E. coli strains mutated in specific receptors involved in uptake of catechol type siderophore. These receptors are called FIPA, FU, CIR. We tried the single mutants, double mutants, and the triple mutant, and we observed that this triple mutant in FU, CIR, FIPA, the three receptors, becomes fully resistant to the microcin, the siderophore microcin, and the unmodified form 2. We also looked at the TONB uh, system, which affords energy to the receptor and observed it was required for the activity of the siderophore microcin. We then looked at the antimicrobial mechanism of action by looking the defects of the inner membrane that were induced by the peptide and on a treated strain, we can observe swelling of the periplasm, while the untreated cells and resistant cells do not show such a picture, and we can observe nicely the double membrane of the gram-negative bacteria, which are intact on control cells. The Cideroform microcin use a Trojan horse strategy. They hijack, they parasitize catechol-type Cideroform receptors, at the outer membrane, then they can reach the cytoplasm, the inner membrane, but they also use uh, two inner membrane proteins, which are MAN-Y, MAN-Z, two components of the manospermeas, which are required for the activity of microcin 492 under its modified and unmodified form. It's not known at present if these two inner membrane proteins Man Y, Man Z are required to contribute to the toxic structure in the inner membrane or are used to help the microcin cross the inner membrane, go to the cytoplasm and reach an unknown target. Another microcin, microcin J25, is a lasso peptide. It targets RNA polymerase. It's composed of a macrolactam ring and a tail. The tail is threaded into the ring and maintained in such a picture by two uh, bulky side chains uh, belonging to two aromatic residues. And this uh, structure seems like the lasso of a cowboy. And the antibacterial activity of the lasso peptide is directed against Escherichia and Salmonella species with minimum inhibitory concentrations in the nanomolar range. The activity is maintained in complex biomatrices and also in vivo in a mouse model of infection. 
here again, we could show that this microcin has a Trojan horse mechanism using FUE, another iron CDR4 receptor, to reach the periplasmic space. Then it interacts with an inner membrane protein of unknown function, SBMA, and then is in the cytoplasm where it can reach the RNA polymerase, which is blocked by interaction with the NTP channel. Thus, Paul Ehrlich, Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1908, made a dream. He dreamed of magic bullets to fight selectively diseases and developed salvarsan as phenamide, which was the first drug against syphilis. And now, microcin offers us nature's magic bullets, which can be patterns for the development of novel antimicrobial or bioactive peptides.